Hi, hello and welcome to another edition of Sports Updates Ghana. It's another brand new week and time to bring you updates from the world of sports. And coming up in this edition, Borussia Dortmund have revealed the date Coach Utuado will be made to join the Black Stars camp for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Also coming up in this edition, Stefan Ambrosius has picked up an injury which has ruled him out of the 2022 FIFA World Cup campaign with the Black Stars. Also, Ghana's football legend Dan Ousu says that the IU brothers cannot be left out of Ghana's squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. And finally, some Ghanaian fans have lashed out at FIFA for not including Thomas Pate in their article for five Ghanaian players to watch at this year's 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. More of this coming up here on Sports Update Ghana. My name is Joseph Adam Afiu. Please subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. So let's get straight into it. And German Borders Liga side Borussia Dortmund have revealed the date they will release Black Star head coach Otoado to be part of Ghana's team for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Coach Otoado, who is the senior head coach of the Black Stars is also the talent scout for Borussia Dortmund where he is one of their pre precious assets when it comes to the club team. Well, ahead of the FIFA World Cup which commences in less than 15 days, Coach Utuado is not yet with Ghana's technical team who are preparing for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Well, according to Borussia Dortmund, Coach Utuado will be made available to join Black Stars for the 2022 FIFA World Cup on November 12 or 13, the weekend of November 12 or 13, that is when Coach Otoado will be released to join the Black Stars for the World Cup in Qatar. And the interesting thing is that the date that Coach Otoado will be released to join the Black Stars in camp is the same date that players across the world will also be let go or released by their clubs to join their national teams for the Mondial, which commences later this month in November. Well, ahead of the FIFA World Cup, Coach Utoado has named his 55-man provisional squad for the World Cup and expected to prune it to 26. But unfortunately, well, the coach is still with the club team as uh, Ghanaians wait on him to be up and doing and be working hard with the blaster. But it seems that he's been working behind uh, closed doors and behind the scenes. That is why Ghanaians do not hear much about Otoado and I think that he will be up to the stats when he is, re he is released and will be doing more in the uh, media scene. So we should watch out for Coach Otoado by November 12th or 13th. He will be with the Black Stars in camp for the World Cup. But this is not a good thing because we wanted a coach that is really dedicated to the Black Stars and not a coach who is working for a club team and also working with the senior national team. Well, Coach Utoado was appointed as the head coach of the Blasters for the World Cup after helping Ghana qualify for the 2022 FIFA World Cup by beating Nigeria in the playoffs thanks to a 1 1 away goal, which got Ghana to qualify for their fourth appearance at the World Cup in Qatar. Well, away from Coach Utoado, our fortunate news to his trainers is that Blasters defender. Stefan Ambrosius has picked up an injury which has ruled him out of Ghana's campaign for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Stefan Ambrosius switched nationalities from Germany to play for the Black Stars and unfortunately he has not even made a debut for the Black Stars and he was named in Ghana's provisional squad for the World Cup but unfortunately this week in the German Bundesliga 2 where he plies his trade with one of the clubs in the German second division unfortunately the Ghanaian defender got injured and that injury has ruled him out of the World Cup as he would need more time to recover from the injury well Stefan Ambrosius was one of the players that Coach Otoado was looking to rely on when it comes to options in defense. But unfortunately, the towering striker will not be part of Ghana's squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. And this is also good fortune for Patrick Pfeiffer, who was left out of Ghana's squad for the World Cup. Patrick Pfeiffer, I must say, is one of the best defenders we have in the team when it comes to his... Uh, mental toughness when it comes to his height when it comes to his scoring the goals he contributes in all of this and i think that this is a great opportunity for coach Otoado to include patrick pfeiffer the tall lanky defender in ghana squad for the world cup patrick pfeiffer switched nationalities to play for the blasters but was not named in the september friendly matches that we played against nicaragua and brazil and the coach in the coach's uh 55-man provisional squad also 
uh, Patrick Pfeiffer was also not included in that particular squad. And I think that this is the right opportunity for Coach Otoado to include Patrick Pfeiffer in his provisional squad for the World Cup. And away from that, let's do some more. And Ghana's football legend Dan Ousu says that the Ayu brothers, who are made up of Andre Ayu and Jordan Ayu, cannot be left out of the Black Stars campaign for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The Ayu brothers have come under various criticism from some section of football fans in Ghana for their current performance which has not seen them show the highest level which they are known to be. Well, according to Dan Ousu, despite their deep inform by the IU brothers, he believes that their experience and longevity as well as the labor in or the number of investment they made in the blasters cannot be overlooked. And that is why the IU brothers must be taken to the World Cup, saying that their experience will be needed at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. In an interview recently, Dan Ousu said, the Ayu brothers are not the way they used to be. They have declined in performance. To be honest, their performance is below belt. Andre is the captain, so I expect him to improve on his performance. Likewise, his brother, Jordan. We cannot exclude them from the World Cup squad because of experience, but I expect them to improve before the World Cup starts in Qatar. And that was Dan Ousu over there talking about the Ayu brothers saying that, well, in terms of recent performances, the Ayu brothers have dipped in performance and, well, they would have to improve their performance if they are to earn a place in Ghana's 26-man squad for the World Cup. He believes that their experience will be very vital to coach Otoado's men in the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Now, before we go to the World Football Governing Board, the FIFA has come under various criticism from some football fans in the country who believe that the latest article written by FIFA was just a sham because it did not include Pate in the five Ghanaian players to watch for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. In the list created by FIFA for the five Ghanaian players to watch, FIFA named Andrea Yu, Mohamed Kudus, Daniel Amati, Inaki Williams and Fatah Isaku as the five Ghanaian players to watch at the World Cup in Qatar. Well, according to some Ghanaian football fans, they believe that the World Football Governing Body got it all wrong as they did not name the Black Stars deputy captain, Thomas Partey will be playing at his first World Cup with the Black Stars. And well, from some of the comments expressed by some Ghanaians on FIFA's uh, official wall, they said that one from Balotelli says that five players to watch without Partey, interesting. No Thomas Partey, are you playing? Another one from Kwame says that, where is Thomas Partey? He's a star man. And this one from the presidency G says that, clearly FIFA doesn't know that Thomas Partey is Ghana's best player. Very sad to see the deed there. Another one also here from Arthur says that, where is Thomas Partey? Then this one from Kobina says that, better take out the deed and put Partey over there. Thomas Partey exempted from this conversation is really absurd. And that is from Kojo Kante. And finally, this one from Arturo says that, are you guys setting an agenda? All the talented players we have are uh, Ishaku, Andrea Yu, and Amate are part of those to watch. Really laughing out loud. And that is what Arturo had to say about the list created by FIFA on Ghanaian players to watch. And if you are talking about Ghanaian players to watch, I think that uh, Daniel Kofitre should be there, Jiku should be there. Tariq Lamte should be there, Antoine Semenyor and all that, but well, FIFA knew what they were doing and well, what can I say? <laughs> I think Thomas Partey clearly deserves to be there and that is how we wrap up on this edition of Sports Update Ghana. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment.